He's your husband? Well, you hurt so bad when I divorced you that you'd marry this? Whoa, the desperation. This is the mighty Steve? The one you used to throw in my face? The one who wasn't much to look at, but at least he's got a job? <laughs> oh, you gigolos make me sick. You think just because a man divorces his wife, you can move right in and marry her? <laughs> well, I'm back. So you can just pack up your hair and profile <laughs> and find another heartbroken, discarded, middle-aged woman to marry. <laughs> and leave us decent folk to our happy home. Pardon me, yogi. <laughs> If it's that woman, I'm not here. He's over there. <laughs> Stephen Rhodes, don't you dare think you can walk out of this argument. What argument? Do you see an argument? No. All I see is an innkeeper who doesn't honor reservations. <laughs> Shave the beard. OK. I'll just have to go where my beard is appreciated, somewhere where looks aren't important. Oh, no. <laughs> With my friends, the Bundys. <laughs> And I will remain here until you accept this beard and all it stands for. Fine. You can stay here as long as you want. How long will that be, Steve? <laughs> Till hell freezes over, if need be. She's got to learn that a man's face is a man's face. <laughs> Lemon tree, very pretty. <laughs> and the lemon flower is sweet. But the fruit of the poor lemon is impossible <laughs> to eat. Play it again, Magic Balladeer. I'm Topsy. I'm Mopsy. We're twins. And we're your biggest fans. <laughs> My wife's mad at me. It's hard to concentrate. Oh. Hey, here's a little something I know you girls have been wanting to ask me. Oh. Do you want to dance <laughs> under the moonlight? I know. I know. I'm talking about my, my other client. Yeah, and uh, put 50 bucks on Agile Angus to place. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Darcy, hmm. I think I can get you a job in this commercial. Why? What have I ever done to you? <laughs> it's a job, so Mrs. Darcy will let you back in the house? Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, you know, it's not really work. <laughs> it's acting. <laughs> and of course I made two cups of romantic roast. OK, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Bye. I'm here to fix the disposal. Oh, I can't figure out what happened. I see this all the time. <clears throat> Can I thank you with a cup of coffee? Mmm. Romantic roast? Romantic roast. <laughs> brings you to the car wash? Well, my car was dirty, and they do such a lousy job of cleaning it down at the batting cages, I thought I'd bring it here. Well, it's nice to see you're still such a sarcastic twit, Steve. <laughs> Besides, I thought you were in the desert, protecting the wildlife and performing guys and dolls with your little cactus friends. <laughs> that, much like our marriage, was just a phase. I did the environmental thing for a while and then decided I wanted to find myself. And what I found was uh, myself likes money. So, 
Did Mr. Marcy let you out alone? <laughs> Jefferson, how'd it go? Great. It got my tattoo, and Harris passed out right after, so I didn't even have to pay him. Maybe I didn't get a tattoo. Oh, man. Yo! <laughs> I got one. <laughs> All right, Jefferson. Drop trout. Me too. Here we go. Come on. Let's see. Oh, man, Marcy's gonna love this. Uh, I don't know, Jefferson. I think he left out to sea. <laughs> what are you talking about? I hate to tell you this, buddy, but uh, you might be married to Marcy, but uh, your ass says I love Mary. <laughs> Oh, Stephen, you're the most wonderful husband in the world. I'm the one who should apologize to you. There's nothing wrong with a little physical attraction. After all, that's what first attracted me to you. Well, I guess I am sort of the whole ball of wax. I remember the first time I saw you, running that marathon. Your arms were tense. Your chest was heaving. There were tears in your eyes. But still, you tried to catch that woman in the lead. I love you, Steve. Do you forgive me? Of course I do. Oh, um, this came for you. Somebody dropped it off at Al's. What is it? I don't know was for you.